prehistoric medicine, herbal remedies, and early surgery. Humans have practiced forms of medicine since prehistoric times, utilizing natural resources and rudimentary techniques to treat ailments and injuries. Archaeological evidence suggests that early humans used herbal remedies long before the advent of written records. For example, residues found on ancient grinding stones and in dental calculus indicate the use of medicinal plants, such as yarrow and chamomile, by Neanderthals as far back as 50,000 years ago. These plants likely served as pain relievers, anti-inflammatories, and wound treatments. In addition to herbal remedies, prehistoric humans also engaged in early surgical practices. One of the most striking examples is trepanation, the process of drilling or scraping a hole into the skull. Evidence of trepanation has been found in numerous ancient skulls dating back to at least 7,000 years ago. Remarkably, many of these skulls show signs of healing, suggesting that some individuals survived the procedure. Trepanation may have been performed to treat head injuries, relieve pressure from brain swelling, or for ritualistic reasons. Ancient Civilizations Structured Medical Systems as human societies became more complex, so did their medical practices. Ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Mesopotamia, India, and China developed structured medical systems with a blend of empirical knowledge and spiritual beliefs. In ancient Egypt, medical papyri like the Edwin Smith Papyrus and the Ebers Papyrus, dating back to around 1600 BCE, provide detailed descriptions of medical conditions, surgical procedures, and pharmacological treatments. Egyptian physicians practiced dentistry, set broken bones, and performed surgical procedures, using tools that have been recovered from archaeological sites. In Mesopotamia, the Code of Hammurabi, circa 1754 BCE, includes laws regulating medical practice, indicating a well-developed understanding of medicine and the professional status of physicians. Clay tablets from this region also detail treatments for various ailments, combining herbal remedies with incantations and prayers to deities, reflecting the intertwining of medicine and religion. Ancient India's Ayurveda, a holistic medical system, originated over 3,000 years ago. Texts like the Karaka Samhita and Sushruta Samhita provide comprehensive insights into medical practices, including surgery, herbal medicine, and dietary guidelines. The Sushruta Samhita, attributed to the physician Sushruta, is particularly notable for its detailed accounts of surgical techniques and instruments, as well as early forms of plastic surgery. Similarly, Ancient Chinese medicine, documented in texts such as the Huangdi Neijing, the Yellow Emperor's classic of medicine, from around 300 BCE, emphasizes the balance of bodily energies, qi, and the use of acupuncture, herbal medicine, and moxibustion to maintain health and treat diseases. These ancient medical systems laid the groundwork for more formalized and diverse medical practices in subsequent centuries, Classical Antiquity – The Birth of Western Medicine In classical antiquity, Greek and Roman physicians further advanced medical knowledge, setting the foundation for Western medicine. Hippocrates of Kos, often called the Father of Medicine, lived around 460 to 370 BCE. He is credited with establishing medicine as a profession, distinct from other fields such as theology and philosophy. The Hippocratic Corpus, a collection of texts attributed to him and his followers, emphasizes the importance of observation, diagnosis, and prognosis, advocating for a rational approach to medicine based on natural causes and treatments. Galen of Pergamon, a prominent physician in the Roman Empire during the 2nd century CE, built on Hippocratic principles. His extensive writings covered anatomy, physiology, pathology, and pharmacology, influencing medical practice for over a millennium. 
Galen's dissections of animals advanced the understanding of human anatomy, although some of his anatomical theories were later proven incorrect. His emphasis on the humoral theory, which posited that health depended on the balance of bodily fluids, dominated medical thought until the Renaissance. Roman public health initiatives also contributed significantly to the practice of medicine. The construction of aqueducts, sewers, and public baths improved hygiene and reduced the spread of diseases in urban areas. Roman military medicine, with its emphasis on wound care and surgical techniques, also advanced medical knowledge and practice. Medieval and Renaissance medicine, bridging ancient and modern practices. During the medieval period, medical knowledge in Europe was preserved and expanded through translations of Greek and Roman texts by Islamic scholars. Physicians in the Islamic Golden Age, such as Avicenna, Ibn Sina, combined classical knowledge with their own observations and discoveries. Avicenna's The Canon of Medicine, written in the early 11th century, became a central text in both the Islamic world and Europe, offering comprehensive insights into medical theory and practice. In medieval Europe, the establishment of universities and medical schools in cities like Salerno and Montpellier fostered the study of medicine. The curriculum often included works by Hippocrates, Galen, and Avicenna, integrating ancient knowledge with contemporary practices. The Renaissance period saw a resurgence in the study of anatomy, propelled by figures like Andreas Vesalius, whose seminal work, De Humani Corporis Fabrica, on the fabric of the human body, in 1543 provided detailed and accurate anatomical drawings based on dissections.